Hello everyone, welcome to the Narc Survivor YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how the narcissist will make your life miserable. Please give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe and click all notifications so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The narcissist will make your life miserable. The narcissist lacks objectivity, which means that they show favoritism and bias. They're not impartial or fair-minded. And instead, they make decisions from their own personal feelings or beliefs, rather than associating their ideas with reality, truth, and reliability. So they personalize everything. They see everything outside of them as something internal, which causes them to be over emotional, biased, prejudiced, idiosyncratic, and irrational to where everything relates to what arises within their minds from their personal subjective point of view, from their personal opinions or feelings rather than facts which means that they are not connected to brigality. They have psychotic-like symptoms, which is why they tend to misinterpret and amplify what other people feel about them. And they may even experience hallucinations or even delusions similar to schizophrenia, because someone who lacks objectivity is inflexible. They're unwilling to change or compromise. They're stubborn, obstinate, intractable, unbending. They have an arrested emotional development and they think in black and white because they're operating from their ego, from an inflated sense of self-esteem and self-importance as a result of the distorted ideas and opinions they have of themselves, which causes them to show dog determination to do what they want to do and to refuse to do anything else because they believe what they believe. And once a person forms a belief, they create their own subjective reality from the perception of their input and it dictates their behavior in the world because they process and interpret information in their surroundings, which then influences their decisions and judgments which is why when you present information to them that challenges their belief, it causes them to become very defensive to where they will then dismiss you by forcefully criticizing or arguing with you because they have a closed mind, which causes them to rigidly exclude outside influence to where it may cause them to behave unreasonably and irrationally because they're one-sided, which causes them to behave in extremes. It causes them to think of only two ideas or concepts, and they always want to be the opposite of whatever they think they're going against. To where they're excessive, immoderate, and inordinate, and they go beyond a normal limit, and they are inflexible to another person's opinions and beliefs. They are unable and unwilling to put themselves in another person's shoes to analyze their perspective because they lack emotional intelligence. They lack the capacity to be aware of, control and express their emotions and to handle interpersonal relationships judiciously and empathetically. They cannot understand your emotions because they can't even manage their own emotions. So they lack the ability to perceive, interpret, demonstrate and evaluate, which is why they're so insecure. And it's why they struggle to make good judgments and they have difficulty avoiding or solving problems because they have a lack of flexibility in their thinking. They have a lack of objectivity, empathy and understanding and they have a lack of desire and impulse to understand, which boils down to a lack of consciousness, 
a loss of awareness of themselves and their surroundings to where they are stuck in a fixed pattern of thought, feeling, behavior and belief. Because they're operating primarily from primitive and reptilian brain structures rather than the evolutionary neocortex. They're in survival mode. Their primitive brain is extremely active. And they are specifically concerned with maintaining their safety. So they are constantly in a state of fight or flight, which are trauma responses. They're responding to trauma, to damage inflicted on the hippocampus in the limbic system of the brain. The hippocampus is involved in memory, learning and emotion, but it shrinks with stress. And because they have a fixed mindset, when you challenge their one-sided opinions or beliefs, their brain perceives this as a threat, which then impairs their ability to think logically and rationally, feel deeply and remember information. The amygdala triggers their fight or flight response, which then leads to the release of hormones that prepare the body to fight the source of danger or flee from it. Because they follow a fixed framework of basic assumptions, perspectives and ways of thinking. They remain in a distinct set of ideas, concepts and thought patterns throughout their entire lives. Because they're never alone. And they're surrounded by people who are also of a low consciousness. While they oppose those who are of a higher consciousness because they expect everyone to believe in what they believe in. And if you don't, then they will attack you or ignore you for having a different opinion. Because they do not want you to think freely, independent of their authority or tradition. They don't want you to be your own person. They don't want you to act in accordance with your own character rather than by their influence, which is why they will devalue you and they will gaslight you and they will make you feel so small. They will reduce you to something undesirable. They will represent you at less than your true value and importance, which makes them very dangerous. And it's why you must watch out for people who are overly biased and judgmental because it reveals that they may lack ethics and morality to where they lack the quality of being impartial and free from bias and personal opinions because they have an arrested emotional development, which means that they have retained a black and white mentality. So when you have an opinion, they will dismiss you. They won't even listen to what you have to say because they're already trying to concoct some form of argument in their heads instead of listening to you. They're delusional and they're trying to bring you into a shared fantasy because they see themselves as magnificent, impressive, imposing and awe-inspiring, which means that they cannot see people and situations clearly without bias or distortion, which results in a distorted perception irrational decision-making and an inability to consider another person's opinion or point of view because they have an arrested emotional development which resulted in a black and white mentality where they have all or nothing thinking a tendency to think in extremes which is common in people with panic disorder depression and other anxiety related issues and it's why they will dismiss your perspectives. It's why they will resist constructive criticism. So there isn't anything you can say to them, which creates communication issues because they cannot effectively understand a message being sent to them. So it then hinders problem solving. It leads to conflict 
as a result of their failure to understand. And then it results in the person who lacks the quality of being impartial and free from bias or personal opinions, causing the other person to feel invisible. The narcissist will make your life miserable because they are maladaptive, so they will be defensive to where they're too quick to protect themselves from being criticized and they're highly concerned with justifying their actions or words because they sense that you have a different opinion than they do or because you gave them constructive criticism which is why they will react emotionally and they will dismiss your viewpoints and perspectives because they're inflexible they're unwilling to change or compromise. They have a desire for predictability, which means that they will be severe, harsh, and unbending. And they will show dark determination to not adapt, especially in spite of new information. They will persist in their own way of thinking, even when they are presented with evidence that is opposite in direction or meaning because they're stuck in a systematic pattern of deviation from rationality in argument. So nothing you say is going to change them, but it will resurface their insecurities, which they will then project onto you. And they will blame you for the very things that they're guilty of. They will call you inflexible. They will say that you don't listen. They will blame you for their own faults and failures, and they will avoid taking responsibility for their actions to shift the focus onto you and to avoid keeping the spotlight on them. The narcissist has a confirmation bias, which means that they will even interpret new evidence as confirmation of their previously existing beliefs and biases. Or they will dismiss any evidence that opposes their views because they have a prejudiced mind and they are self-righteous. So they are not willing to accept opinions, beliefs or behaviors that are different from their own, especially in regards to problem solving and decision making because their mind is following an algorithm. It's like a computer, a machine. It follows a set of rules, a step-by-step -step procedure for accomplishing some end. And it aligns with whatever they focus on. It happens automatically. It is a pre-selected option that filters out unnecessary information so that the important stuff gets through. Because they have a lack of consciousness, so they will only absorb information that confirms their bias or supports their belief. And they will just repeat what someone else says. While someone who is emotionally intelligent wants to understand both sides, and they will question if it's just supporting their personal opinions and influencing their judgment, they will try to understand the other person. Because that type of person's goal will be to bring people together rather than to make people or situations more dangerous or unpleasant. Because then everything grows in an uncontrolled way and it becomes harmful. The narcissist cannot accept that just because a person thinks differently to them, that doesn't mean that there is something wrong with that person. Because they are rational and inflexible and they will project their feelings onto you. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, 
you can donate to paypal.me slash narc survivor you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website it's narcsurvivor.co.uk thank you for watching and i'll talk to you soon